Welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. So first we had rapper Snoop Dogg calling Kanye West and Uncle Tom. Essentially, Snoop says Kanye isn't really black unless Kanye adheres to a radical leftist ideology. If you're conservative and a black person, you're betraying your skin color and you have to forfeit your identity. That's what the left tells us. The mainstream media says Kanye is mentally ill and unstable. Keep in mind, Kanye's always been eccentric and erratic in his behavior, but back when Kanye grabbed the mic from Taylor Swift, the media just called Kanye an eccentric genius. But when Kanye puts on the Make America Great Again hat, now he's mentally unfit and needs to be medicated. That's what the left tells us. Kanye West said this would happen on Saturday Night Live. This is probably why NBC was too cowardly to air Kanye's speech, because, you know, otherwise it would have gotten them great ratings. Kanye said the Democratic strategy is to make black people act out of emotion and not think, not think for themselves. Listen. They laughing at me. You heard them, they scream at me. They bully me. They bullied me backstage. They said, don't go out there with that hat on. They bullied me backstage. They bullied me. And then they say, I'm in a sunken place. You want to see the sunken place? Okay, I'm going to listen to y'all now. I'm going to put my Superman cape on because this means you can't tell me what to do. Follow your heart and stop following your mind. That's how we're controlled. That's how we're programmed. If you want the world to move forward, try love. Well, then yesterday, liberal feminist Alyssa Milano literally proved Kanye's point with this tweet. Take a look at this. Make Kanye Kanye again, Milano tweets. This proves Kanye's point. Liberals try to control black people by telling them how they must think, as if Kanye isn't really himself unless he's liberal. The left bullies black people who dare to think for themselves. That's intellectual slavery right there. Don't believe me? Google the video from President Trump's State of the Union address where all the Democrats in the House and in the Senate sat down and refused to applaud when President Trump announced the historically low unemployment rate for black Americans. That's a good thing for black Americans, right? The Democrats just sat there. They refuse to celebrate what's good for black Americans because the Democrats want to use black Americans as pawns. So the left tells black people how to think about police officers. Police are coming to get you, the left whispers to the black community. You could be shot just for being black. It's a lie. Studies have proved it's a lie. But the left needs to tell the Democrats, the left needs to tell the Democrats how to think. The Democrats need to tell black people how to think in order to keep the black vote democratic. It's a lie. Meanwhile, a law enforcement officer killed and six others shot in the line of duty yesterday. You know what they were doing? They put themselves in harm's way every day to keep our community safe. In this case, to keep a foster child safe from sexual abuse. A police officer gave his life to save that child. He didn't stop first to ask what color skin the child had. But make Kanye Kanye again is all the left can say. If you don't believe our left is fear mongering and our lies, they say you aren't really black. Well, it's time for black Americans to walk away. It's time to make the Democrats not racist again. And that's my final points. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at OANN.com slash contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.